Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint to be safe from this week and discuss their lives and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Margaret of Cortona, whose feast day is May 16th, this Tuesday. Margaret was born in 1247 in the town of Laviano in Tuscany. Her parents were small farmers and her mother died when she was seven. Her father remarried, but Margaret and her stepmother did not get along. The relationship became so bad that Margaret eventually ran away from home with a young noble at the age of 17. She stayed at her lover's castle as his mistress and eventually bore him a son. He promised her that one day they would be married, but the day never came. One day, after nine years of her living at the castle, Margaret was waiting for her lover to return from a journey. He did not come, and she became worried when his favorite hound came back alone. She followed the dog into the woods and came upon the murdered body of her lover. The crime shocked Margaret into a life of penance, and she returned all the gifts that had been given to her by her lover's family. She then went back to her father's house with her son. Her stepmother would not accept her, however, so she went to Cortona and found refuge with the friar's minor. When her son eventually grew older, he became a friar himself. Margaret performed many acts of penance, such as fasting and avoiding meat. She earned a living by nursing sick women, but in 1277 she joined the Third Order of St. Francis and chose to live in poverty. She continued her life of penitence and established a hospital for the sick and homeless. She also founded a lay order of nurses to work in the hospital, devoted to Our Lady of Mercy, and they became known as Le Pavarelle, which is Italian for the little poor ones. Margaret was known for her devoted prayer life, as was exemplified by her frequent ecstasies. She often received messages from God, some of which were not for herself, and she willingly relayed these messages to the people they were directed to. She preached against vice and encouraged many sinners to return to the sacraments. She also intervened in public affairs a few times, such as when she called out the Bishop of Arezzo for living extravagantly as a prince. After 29 years of serving the poor and performing acts of penitence, Margaret died on February 22, 1297. She had been divinely warned of the day of her death, and her body is incorruptible to this day. She is the patron saint of falsely accused people, homeless people, loss of parents, mental illness, midwives, penitent women, single mothers, people ridiculed for their piety, reformed prostitutes, sexual temptation, and single lay women. Margaret is most easily recognizable by her desire for penance. She had a great devotion to the Passion of Christ, which is probably part of what drove her to these penitential acts. She was humble and charitable, with an extraordinary love for the Eucharist. Her visible love for Christ and his children drew sinners to her for advice and inspiration, and she brought many people back to the church. St. Margaret of Cortona, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are St. Matthias, St. Isidore the Farmer, St. Paschal Balin, St. John I, St. Theophilus of Corte, St. Felice, and St. Bernardine of Siena. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast dates this week, but there are so many of them that there is no way we could list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace be to you.